Howdy guys, I am back with more of the Banner Saga. Last time we had a battle outside the Frostveller gates, and we started Chapter 3, where I guess Hacken is like the voice of Chapter 3, but uh, don't really have anything else to do here, so let's go ahead and just uh, pack up the caravan and continue on chapter 3. We're leaving Vetterfell, and I'm guessing we're eventually going to collide with um, Rook and Ivor's group, but I don't know. Look at that, says Mogger. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Luden overhears. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You ask him when he started to care about Strand. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. It'd be a waste of time. Strand can handle it. Mogger, send some warriors to take care of it, or we'll deal with it ourselves. Well, any chance to get more experience, I say. Let's go deal with it. The caravan stops and waits while you lead a small detachment up the hillside. Take care of the dredge quickly. You tell Luden to stay by the caravan. He folds his arms and mutters something about being treated like a child. Well, more like we don't trust you because we got our eyes on you after Wagner died. I went ahead and promoted Hakon and Mogger, and uh, Ganulf was already OP as hell, so, um... Well, this looks fine. Let's go ahead and just get ready for the battle against the dredge here. Hopefully it's not too crazy. I figure that uh, I might as well do as many battles as I can since there's no, like, grinding or anything in this game. And I want to make sure my characters are strong, right? Okay, so we got quite a few dredge over here. We're going to have Mogger over here to hold these guys back. Let's put Eirik over here to maybe deal with this one. Ganolf needs to probably help with these. Er, well, hmm. Ganolf and Hakon. Mm -hmm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to put Ganolf and Hakon over here and have Mo Well, shoot, is that a good idea? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I'm going to put Mogger here because he's big and beefy and I need him to keep hacking alive. And Gunulf is level 3, so he might be able to handle those two by himself. So, And then I'm going to hope that Iric can handle this guy, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, in fact, I might want to keep him closer to everyone else and let this guy just wander up here. Alright, that looks fine. Alright, so Hacken is leading the charge here, so let's go ahead and just have him rush over, bum rush over here, and Sundering Impact. Um, there's no adjacent enemy, so that's not really going to be good for me. I'm just going to attack him as normal, and I'm just going to attack his health. So we can do a pretty good chunk of damage there. Gotta admit, I missed my Varl buddies. They are just so strong and beefy. I really, really like having them around. I'm um, going to have Mogger, even though he can't quite reach. I'm going to have him go, go there so he can kind of help Hacken's side here. And I forgot what that ability did. Breaks an enemy's armor. Okay, so we're just going to have you end the turn. He can't really do a whole lot right now. But yeah, see, the, the Varl are just so beefy and strong. They're ridiculous. And uh, let's see. I think Gnulf will be able to handle these guys on his own. But I don't really want to move him out there because they haven't had their turn yet. So I'm going to kind of move him kind of a little somewhere weird, just have him sit there and let them come to me. And um, I don't think I, yeah, he's not going to be able to hit anybody just yet, nor do I really want to put him out on the front line. So I'm just going to have him hide behind Mogger here until the next turn. Maybe Rally gives willpower. Uh, no, nah, I don't need to do that just yet, so we'll just have you hang out. Man, these battles are really tough when you start surrounded. Um, alright, so we're back to Hacken here. Alright, Sundering Impact. Now I'm, I am going to use that. Since there's someone adjacent. There's two people adjacent, actually. And it looks like that was pretty darn helpful. And then Mogger. Let's see, what can you do? He can finish this guy off. So go ahead and polish that guy off. Get you some renown. And take all the hits for me. Appreciate it. Now, Gunolf might be able to handle these guys on his... Oh, yeah, he definitely can't look at that. He's going to do 10 damage to him. So let's just have him run over here and wallop this guy's face and with his overpowered behind. <laughs> I probably don't want to keep pumping too many kills into um, 
into Ganolf just because he's already very strong. And I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should keep keep him, keep him strong. But man, the humans are so wimpy and weak compared to Varl. It's ridiculous how strong the Varl are. Alright, have you go ahead and just plunk it through this guy's face. Right, this, yeah, I'm, hopefully no one will end up injured at the end of this. I feel like this is going pretty well. You can finish him off. Can choose some renown. Alright, I'm lucky because he's targeting my Varl and not my poor little human here. Looks like Gandalf won't be able to one-shot this guy, so I might maybe save the kill for someone else since he's weakened it already. Um, let's see... Oop, 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 who am I? Um, oh, I'm Eirik, okay. He's not gonna do a whole lot... Oh gosh, I'm... I can't even see him over here. What are you doing, man? Alright, let's have you move behind this guy, and uh, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, oh, there we go. Have him break away at some of the armor and pretend he's useful. <laughs> Oh, this guy's trying to get over here. He's making his way. Oh, and then he deflected it. What a monster. Just have you do the same thing. I feel like I'm getting a bit more used to how combat works, but maybe it's just a really easy fight. I don't know. Man, Malgar's going to have all the renown. Alright, he's going to be able to promote, which is good. Um, let's try to get... You know, I'm not going to have Ganolf attack this guy because I, he's gotten enough kills already. So, ooh, oh, you know, I forgot what, let's see, Tempest, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I remember what it does now. I'm gonna have you, shoot, what should I have you do? Keep working his strength down, I guess. Uh-oh, oh, he's gonna go for Ganolf. Uh-oh, alright, well, I think we're still alright. Have Eirik, ugh, I need to have him just rush over here, really need him to, um, I don't think anyone really needs their willpower restored. Maybe I need to get better at using my willpower and stuff. Alright. Yeah, these guys need some movement speed or something. Or some movement range. Because look how... S they can't move very far at all. Actually, I don't know if that was the best spot to move to. But whatever. I'm here now. Oh, Gunulf is getting kind of worked now. Alright, let's keep going over here. I just wanted to try to feed other people a few kills. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Oh! because Gandalf is really getting worked here. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use Tempest, because he's really taking a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. Last one standing. Alright, let's see if we can get Irik. Oh, he can't. Irik, you can't do anything, can you? Alright, well, you can do one health damage, I suppose. And, gosh, can we get over here and finish this guy off? No, not really. Dang. Oh yeah, I screwed up with my placement. Hopefully Gnolf won't end up injured. He's still got five health. I think he's gonna be okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move Gnolf away because I don't want him to take that kill. I want someone else to have it. I, I, honestly, I'd like Eirik to have it, but ugh. He's just like, he can't do anything. Can you do like three damage? No, you can do one. Alright, we'll do one damage. Go do the best one damage you can do, buddy. Except now that I've complete- Oh man, I really wanted Hacken to get that. See, I didn't think about my placement. Everyone's blocking everybody else. And it's fine, I'll just give it to Mogger. Mogger can finish this guy off, get some renown. Trying to spread the love around a little bit, but some people make it a bit harder than others, so... Alright, Mogger is ready for promotion, which is good. Gnolf is ready for promotion again, which I'm kind of indifferent about because he's already a little too strong. But it's alright, we can just have one big beefy guy carry us the rest of the way, right? <laughs> alright, so what's happening here? Hakan- or wait, hold on. Hakan. You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? I don't know, can we? We can try. It seems clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way, am I right? Yup. Let's see, you're not wrong, why do you ask? In fact, I plan to go out of my way to kill them. We only kill dredge when necessary. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotta rub- I, I wanna kinda bug this guy. I don't like Luden, and I wanna kinda rub him the wrong way, so I'm gonna antagonize him a little bit. In fact, I plan to go out of my way to kill them. I shouldn't be surprised, but... Don't assume only the Varl can fight. Do you understand me? That is my banner. We fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arborank. I insist on joining the battle. In battle. 
almost got it in your first encounter and ready for more? Whatever you like, Prince. Oh man, Hacken, use the, use the most gangster. I love you, Hacken. And, uh, I expected more resistance. From Wagner, maybe. They tell me that you are his kinder. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin, varl thing. Don't you take on his responsibilities? Let's see. That doesn't mean I care what happens to you in my own way. Why the tough act, kid? Ah, oh, man. I don't know which one of these I want to pick. Let's see. Don't you take on his responsibilities? Like, I feel like saying in my own way because that's really what it comes down to, but... I kind of want to say this to antagonize him a little bit. This that doesn't mean I care what happens to you. I'm going to say that. That ah, doesn't mean I care what happens to you. I feel like Hacken would say that anyway. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. Uh, that's the last thing I need to think about right now. Luton looks at you as though he just punched you, as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. <laughs> I like to antagonize that guy a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty fun to harass. On exertion, you've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three exertion lets you add three damage to every attack or move three spaces further than usual if you've got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally important in combat. Choose wisely. Okay, well that sounds pretty helpful because I'm still kind of really stumbling in the combat even though I've been playing this quite a while now. I feel like I should be better at it and I'm not. Anyhow, let's see what there is to do around town here and talk to these guys. First person to talk to here. You have a moment. As you approach Bercy, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book reading type. You're Bercy. You're Hacken. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? Uh, he looks like Ganolf, kind of, doesn't he? I had some questions. Say what you want to say. What do you want to know? What's Evarol doing working for Luton? Where'd you learn to fight? Can I trust you? I won't keep you any longer. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Though, uh, whose back will you have if things go wrong? I assume I'm looking out for myself and you'll figure it out. <laughs> Does Luden understand that? Luden doesn't even understand that half his army is just is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. <laughs> Alright, Bercy's an okay guy. I like him. Alright, I trust him. Alright, so what is a Varl doing working for Luden? What's a Varl doing working for another Varl? What difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge right now, so do me a favor and don't get Luden killed. He's important to you? No, but that's one way to put it. <laughs> this guy's alright. Where'd you learn to fight? Same as you, by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed well-protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah, not anymore. I've had a lot of jobs. Alright, I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, old leader of Arl. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Luden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there is a bit of threat behind that gravely request. I'm not sure how I feel about this Bercy guy. He seems okay, but now i got my eyebrow raised a little bit. I'm not quite sure. So let's talk to this lady right here. Irsa, right? She watches you approach with her head tilted back and points a thumb towards Luden's tent. Nope, here for you. Oh. Oh, this must be the witchy girl, right? Can we talk? Ysera shakes her head no, a smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. In those two curiously contradictory words, you get two impressions. She has a beautiful obsidian voice, and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you expectingly. Well, you're Luden's bodyguard. No, he's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles abrupt and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. You are his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Luden? Luck. She watches you. Alright, you don't talk. 
No. You do, though. I don't. <laughs> she smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. It's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Varl and Fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them... She pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist you don't quite catch. Suddenly, a bird combusts in a tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp has turned to watch. Don't tell me not to. Well, this has been fun. She crosses her arms, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Till next time, Yrsa. Hacken. You stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She puts her forefinger to her lips with a, sh a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Yep, I'm not quite sure what to make of either of Luden's guards, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on them, and this episode is going to have to be done for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching me play The Banner Saga. Next time, we'll pack up camp and see where Chapter 3 takes us. Thanks again. Bye for now.